welcome to a very awesome review, a look at the uh, DLP's bootleg slash knockoff uh, Lego figures of set DLP 9032, which is Batman v Superman. We have four Batman figures here and we have four Superman figures here. And aside from one of them, all of these are pretty much new figures, so that's pretty cool. On the Superman side, we have the new 52 Superman, which is a little bit different from the official Lego one, so that's good. It's not exactly the same. And one side of the boxes, you get uh, the Superman and the figure image. Uh, we have uh, the Black Suit Superman that's related to the promo figure, the SDCC one. We've seen that copy a few times, but uh, hey, uh, if for those of you who missed it, this is one of the earliest bootlegs, it might be good to have that. Uh, Red Sun Superman, and we have uh, this weird suit Superman, I'm not sure what that's from. I'm sure DC fans will tell me in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> next we have uh, Arkham Knight Batman. And we have, this one is Flashpoint Batman. I'm pretty sure this one's Flashpoint right now. Uh, Arkham Knight it himself, supposedly, the suit. And 8-bit NES Batman. Yeah, this is this is the one I really wanted. This is just, I don't, you know, I don't give me key figures. That one's really cool. So, and on this side you get the assembly guide for the figures. And as always, if you want to take a closer look at the photos of the box art, instruction sheet, as well as the figures, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. Yes, instructions, because these come with little aircrafts and ships and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly slide through them. Again, you can take a closer look at these on Flickr if you want. Or just pause the video if you're not too bothered. And these ones are just bike sheets, bikes. They're blank on the back. And uh, these feel like slightly shinier and um, you know grippier <laughs> paper compared to the official Lego sheets. Quick look at the vehicles first. We have these different bikes here. Uh, DLP also recently released a uh, Spider-Man set, which is sort of the same way. There are four vehicles in that and four bikes in that set as well. So these are sort of like a pair release, one Marvel, one DC. Uh, we have a standard sort of silver mountain bike here. The red version of this bike. We have a sort of older fashioned bike, or a silver one, and we have a black version of that. And I will say between this and the Spider-Man one, uh, these rubber tires, when I put them on the package, they had, they were slimy, they were oily. Uh, it, it felt very uncomfortable to suddenly pick up a piece of plastic like that and, feel, and just oil rubbing off in my hand, feeling all sticky and stuff. Um, so yeah, I washed my hands and um, I recommend you sort of be aware of these tires, probably chuck these in the bucket of soap or something before building them because God knows uh, what quality of plastic oil that they use for the molding process so do do be careful with that you definitely don't want to mess around with these and then go and eat something um, so the vehicles uh, we have a flying craft here very basic uh, oh it's a boat I guess just stick some round pieces at the bottom if you want to um, the color choice is okay some useful pieces here if you like that and the steering wheel is uh, just a fully grey piece of plastic, which is quite different from the usual Lego ones where they have a black uh, wheel attached to it. So that's something. Uh, this one's a metallic silver wheel, and you've got some uh, golden batarangs attached to this car. And yeah, this car is similar to the DLP Captain America stuff that they did, um, that I also reviewed, where each Captain America had like a car, and it was just built with well, this, this size plate and these really bad wheels. So, <laughs> yeah, it's... A really crappy design, uh, but the pieces they've used here again are okay. Metallic silver stuff reminds me of the Mega Bloks silver blocks, so that's nice, I guess. And we have this one here, this one's a bit better. Um, this one actually looks a bit more like a little buggy, so this one actually looks kind of nice. And finally, we have this one here, another bat one. Again, they did choose decent enough colors, good enough colors, and they're the round pieces on this. And this one, when building it, uh, it's actually quite easy to fall apart until you finalize building it. Um, before you finish building it, um, these pieces are very loose. But once it all comes together, it, it's it's okay. So you definitely want to build this on a flat surface. Uh, and don't build it freehand. And before I move on to the minifigures, uh, I got a free cape out of it. Like just one extra, so that's kind of cool. So, Superman first, and for a long time now I have kept the, uh, the black suit Superman from the really old Xing Yun release right here. You see he's got that old weird Xing Yun legs going on, so... Uh, but uh, for a long time I've considered 
uh, this one to be sort of the best version of this figure but now we have this one which actually has the proper legs and you know the print job of us okay on the body the body's pretty nice a bit thicker than the Xingyang one uh, but you know it still looks decent enough um, I'm thinking that the thinner lining on the Xingyang one still makes it a kind of the best version uh, the only thing is the head's quite different as well quite a little bigger um, now this face does match the faces of the rest of this particular set, but um, it is a little bit different from the Lego one. But then again, the Xingyang one is also quite squished itself. Um, so right now, my preferred one, I guess I do like this new one a bit better, this DLP one a bit better, just because it's got the correct shape arms and correct shape legs, whereas the old Xingyang one has those weird thick shoulders and weird shaped legs, so... Um, Hey, this one's good then. Uh, New 52, Superman there looks pretty good. Um, and all these Superman, they look okay, except that the hair is still a really bad mold. So if you don't have some of the official Superman hair, these hairs look really weird. Don't know what it is, they just they didn't mold it properly. There's not enough plastic there, it just looks wrong. Uh, but the body here, New 52, Superman looks pretty good. The legs are decent as well. And uh, Red Sun Superman looks awesome. This is so cool to have a figure like this. And I'm guessing this one's like a Cyber Superman or something. Don't know what that suit is from. I recognize it from somewhere, just sort of pictures and stuff, but I um, can't remember where it's from. But he's got a different haircut, so is this like a Cyber Superboy or something? Quick look at the back here. Uh, you can see that they've uh, these two characters, they've uh, printed the boot colors all the way around. Uh, well, actually, they didn't put, print the boot colors, they printed the uh, this blue is printed. So that's, you know, that's kind of cool. And um, they, print, they should have printed it all the way, no, oh, not all the way up there, there's a bit of black showing there, and there should be a bit of red showing there too, so. For the most part the print's okay, but of course it's not perfect. And, uh, you know, I actually did a quick look online with that, with this figure, and this one's actually slightly more accurate to the official LEGO one, because um, even the LEGO one has a thicker lining. Oh well. Uh, the back of these faces are better, this one's cl these two are closer to the official LEGO ones, whereas uh, these ones still look a bit off, this one's printed far too low, so I guess this one's a bad quality control misprint, which is really annoying because the rest of these figures, rest of them, uh, are very, very nice here. And by the way, the cape on all these figures, including the Batman one, they're very thin, they feel like the original LEGO capes, but slightly lighter, slightly thinner. So, uh, Flashpoint Batman... Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight suit Batman, and of course Batman NES 8-bit coloring. Uh, this is based on the uh, NECA figure that they released, where they started repainting certain figures into their NES counterparts, including uh, Freddy, Jason, Batman, Predator, and um, I think they, did they do an 81? Can't remember. But those are a bunch of figures that they did. And uh, so, uh, a lot of people already did custom figures of this, and I'm so glad that there's a cheap bootleg alternative to that. That's great. Um, so cool. Uh, all these are so cool. And um, it's actually another set that has a uh, Arkham Knight suit that looks utter crap. So this one's the good one. Uh, you'll be seeing the crappy one soon and I'll mention this one when that in that video. And uh, yeah, all these use the newer Bat Mask and um, yeah, all of them come with Bat Wangs because the gold Bat Wangs come with him uh, are on the uh, vehicle. They're printed on the feet, legs and uh, this uh, these three Batman also printed on the arms. So uh, I do still have the Arkham Knight bat suit from the previous release, and um, the designs are different enough. Uh, this one here reminds me of the cosplay one that's quite famous right now, the 3D printed cosplay Batman. So I guess I'll stick with that's what they're going for. Both of these are really nice, um, so I'm keeping them both. They're both good. And with that extra cape, um, this one was missing a cape when I got it, so now I can uh, give him that cape. Hooray! And of course, uh, Arkham Knight uh, doesn't have a cape, so I've got, I still have one spare cape to give to a future Batman figure related figure thing. Hooray! That's awesome. Uh, and yeah, all these figures look really nice. Now I will say though, uh, you know, I'm glad that they'll change all the coloring of the faces to match the suits. That's nice. And um, I also want to say that the, uh, the coloring... I'm maybe a little bit off there, but I know the suit in the video game is also quite colourful. I haven't actually played uh, Arkham Knight yet. <gasps> I haven't even finished Arkham City, all the side quests and stuff, and the uh, DLC storyline, uh, and you know, the extra uh, Harley Quinn, Revenge of Harley Quinn thing. So, oh well, I ain't gonna have to get to that, but I don't have time for that, because I gotta do videos and full-time jobs and stuff, so. And aside of these, 
bad characters are printed, so that's awesome. Uh, so that makes them better than the Superman figures, I guess, because they have arm prints. And, um... So, yeah. So these figures are also very, very nice. I like them a lot. Moving to the back there, they, they feel very professional. Now, uh, the, this Batman in particular still has like a slightly goofier face compared to official Lego and whatnot. But it doesn't seem as goofy as the Superman figures. So that's good. And you can see that the Arkham Knight figure has the back fully printed as well, which is also pretty awesome. I guess the only thing missing is um, one of his faces should have had like a metal jaw piece just to uh, seal up the mask to make it like his face is fully covered. So this set is freaking awesome. The bikes are a nice touch too, the vehicles I don't care too much for, but they're actually decent compared to some of the other bootleg companies where they give you a vehicle which just looks ghastly so stupid. Uh, and this is a huge improvement over the Captain America vehicles that we saw in that set because all of those cars were all the same and they're all very ugly like this one here. But I guess at least you do, you do get like a 4x6 plate so those are useful for a lot of people and you get one here so that's okay I guess. But the boats here remind me of the poly bags that from actual Lego sets and of course like I said the bikes are nice and um, so overall the accessories and vehicles they're okay. but. They're like a free bonus because the price for this is the same as other bootlegs and the figures themselves are amazing. Uh, the print job's really high, quality is good, the plastic feels good in the hand, the clutch feels good, the capes feel good. And um, aside from, uh, I guess, a new 52 Superman has been bootlegged before and um, the STCC Superman as well. As well as, um, I guess, Arkham Knight Batman, and uh, but uh, Arkham Knight Batman is not this version. So, aside from two figures, really, all of these are brand new figures that have not been bootlegged before. And they've all been done in such a high quality. Uh, my, like I said, my nitpick is for the Arkham Knight figure to have a little silver mouthpiece, just to... Uh, maybe a printed mask, but I guess that's asking too much for such a cheap price. So, if you like Batman, you like Superman, you like DC comic superheroes, and you want some nice custom minifigures that official LEGO will probably never release um, or a very limited one such as the SCCC one then you definitely definitely want to pick this up just be careful again with a reminder of the really oily tires mm, not nice yes I highly recommend this set go get it now now If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful or not, please leave a comment below. Please click the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and share this video with other people who might be interested in getting these figures. And uh, yeah, I know these designs are most likely taken online, so if you have designed the actual decal um, or you know who has done it, you can probably let me know in the comments below and I'll give credit where credit is due. Uh, I need the name and the link to where they originally posted their design, that'd be great. And then you can check out my other videos on official LEGO and knockoff LEGO. Uh, hopefully with adblock turned off, that'd be great. I have an animation, Darth Vader vs. Command of Black, on my animation channel. So I hope you can check that out too. And you can support this channel Patreon if you think it deserves it. As always, you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.